Hello grade 10 children. Welcome once again to our English lesson. This lesson focuses on unit 5 of your grade 10 textbook. This is the last lesson you are going to study for unit 5. In this lesson, you will be able to practice grammar. Let's learn how to use adverbs of manner appropriately. Let's start the lesson. Children, an adverb is a word that gives more information about the verb in a sentence. An adverb of manner gives information about how an action is performed. Let's look at this example. Minoli sang. How did Minoli sing? You can say she sang beautifully or even she sang softly or even loudly. So children these words beautifully softly and loudly describe how Minoli sang in other words they describe the manner of her singing these are adverbs of manner they usually come after the verb in a sentence most adverbs of manner in english are formed by adding ly to an adjective Let's look at some examples. Here you have beautiful and the adverb is beautifully. Careless, carelessly. Dangerous, dangerously. Loud, loudly. Soft, softly. And truthful, truthfully. Although most adverbs of manner end in ly, some of them don't. Many are the same as the adjective form and you don't need to add the suffix ly to the adjective. Here are some examples. well, fast, hard and straight. Except for well, all these adverbs have the same form as their corresponding adjectives. that means fast hard and straight can be used as adjectives in the same form look at these sentences in the first sentence vinuri is a fast runner the word fast is used as an adjective describing vinuri in the second one vinuri ran fast fast is used as the adverb describing how she ran also there are many words ending in ly which are not adverbs they are adjectives and they don't form adverbs you can see some examples here friendly lonely and elderly Okay children let's do an activity now this is activity 8 on page 47 of your textbook look at these words you have to change these words into adverbs you can pause the video and do it now here are the adverbs you can check whether you have got all correct It's very easy as you have to add ly to the adjectives but when the adjectives end in y like in happy there is a spelling change when you form the adverb hope you got them all correct children now let's do an activity which i have adapted from activity 9 on page 48 of the textbook You have four sentences here and you have to underline the adverbs. Let's read the sentences. Open the door very slowly and quietly. My little brother is splashing water in the pool noisily. Can you come here quickly? 
they lock the door carefully when they go out. You can pause the video and do it now. Let's check your answers. What about the first one? Open the door very slowly and quietly. What are the adverbs there? Slowly and quietly. So the door was opened very slowly and quietly. Now the second one. My little brother is splashing water in the pool noisily. What's the adverb? How was the water splashed? Yes, noisily. You have to underline noisily there. Next one is a question. Can you come here quickly? What is the adverb? Quickly. Now the last one. They lock the door carefully when they go out. How do they lock the door? Carefully. So the adverb is carefully. I hope you did it well. Okay children, let's do another activity from the textbook. This is an adaptation of activity 10 on the same page. Here you have four sentences with blanks. You have to fill in the blanks with the correct form of the verbs given within the brackets. Okay, you can pause the video and do it now. Okay children, let's read the completed sentences together. The old lady crossed the road carefully. The man waited for the bus impatiently. These sums are not correctly done. The hall is decorated colorfully. I hope you got all these correct. Children, now we have come to the end of today's lesson. In this lesson, we practiced how to use adverbs of manner appropriately. I hope it was clear. Please subscribe to our channel. Goodbye.